Hey Scrap Bosses, I'm back with another Tuesday morning haul. It's been a long time since I've done a haul. I recently shopped at my Tuesday morning, my local Tuesday morning. I actually have two in my area. Then I also picked some up when I hosted the Victoria Marie Scrapbook Retreat this past summer. There's a Tuesday morning that was close to the retreat venue, so I want to show you some of the goodies that I got. Now I'm a sucker for wood veneer, so I picked up these 46-piece wood veneer set from Jen Hatfield. It features little teacups and houses and a little teapot. I thought that was perfect. I also picked up a set of Happy Days enamel dots. These are by My Mind's Eye, and that's going to be used for a lot of my fall scrapbooking. In addition to that, I got some DIY shop little security envelopes, and I like picking these up around this time of year because it's great for adding in ephemera if you're doing like December dailies or something like that. Also picked up some die cuts, which my local Tuesday morning hasn't had a lot of die cuts. And so when I found this set, I knew that I had to grab it. That's called All Heart by Crate Paper. I also picked up this My Mind's Eye World Traveler die cut set. Lots of travel icons, which is perfect. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling next year. And so I thought that would be handy to have that in my stash. I also picked up this travel themed chipboard accents called Getaway from the collection called Getaway. And I think I have this in my stash, but I'm not sure. So I picked it up anyway. And if I do, I just have double. Um, I love this chipboard accent set. It goes perfectly with any project. Also, I can't leave without my thickers. And so I found these really nice sort of uh, brush gold thickers. That's called Adventure or Rose Gold rather. And then some more chipboard accents. This one's called Welcome Home, and it's a really gorgeous market-themed type. This is from Cartabella, and the number one reason why I picked this up is look at that cutting board right there. Isn't that adorable? That looks like something you could pick up at, like, I don't know, Home Goods or something. <laughs> it's really cute. I cannot wait to use it. Also picked up this I'd Rather Be Crafting by Lori Whitlock. I love her designs. I do have I want to say I do have the scrapbook collection, but not these chipboard pieces. And so I'm glad that I picked those up. Lots of really fun icons, all about crafting, a little sewing machine and dress form, a typewriter, all those good things. That's going to go great with all of my layouts about crafting. Then I had to pick this up. This is called Toy Box by Steve Duncan, Stephen Duncan. And when I saw this, it immediately reminded me of Disney's Toy Story. And next year, we're going to Disney World for our second trip. To Disney World and we'll get to see Toy Story Land which wasn't open the first time we went it opened after we left the park and I thought this is going to be perfect for my Disney scrapbooking all about Toy Story so I had to pick that up then as luck would have it right behind that toy box chipboard accent set was this practically perfect set and I've been eyeballing this for some time and I've been meeting to buy the entire collection never got around to it and look at that in the theme of Mary Poppins so excited. So I do have a Disney story where we met Mary Poppins at one of the character breakfast experiences that my daughter and I had at 1900 Park Fair in the Grand Floridian uh, Hotel, the resort. So if you're ever in Disney World, make sure you check that out. And that's going to be perfect to use for that story. All right. So I did pick up some stamps and my Tuesday morning has a lot of stamps. This one's called Distressed Textures. And I love this because it takes a lot of the work out of trying to create a distressed background or some kind of distressed look on a project. So it has four stamps with different texture elements on it that I can't wait to use. I also picked up this I Heart, I Heart Stars stamp. That's kind of hard to say. And I thought this would be perfect on some cards that I want to make for the holiday season. Then I have this sentiment stamp because you can't go wrong with having a bunch of sentiment stamps, particularly if you are a card maker. Um, I like to have them in different designs and textiles. Next, I picked up these glitter die cuts from Pink Paisley, and I mainly picked them up to go with my Disney scrapbooking, but of course I can use them for others. So there's Memories, Family, and Believe. Those are lovely, and of course I like all things glittery. Moving on to some seasonal items. Now, I have a small stash of Halloween goodies, and I was very happy to find these at Tuesday morning. This is an, uh, from the After Dark collection by Crate Paper, a nice little Halloween stamp set to put in my collection that I can use over and over. I also grabbed some stickers from Pebbles. Lots of really fun icons in this one. Um, more on the spooky side, not so much cutesy, but definitely going to use these. I like to have some variation and some options for my holiday scrapbooking because I may do more than just doing 12 by 12 or 8.5 by 11 layouts. I'm thinking about doing a traveler's notebook for the month of October, so I want to theme that all Halloween theme. So this will work perfect for that. Next up, I purchased some of these thickers, which are all Halloween themed. It's called Spooky. Pretty sure that I have this in my thickers collection already. I really need to keep inventory of what I have because I buy lots of doubles and triples of uh, thicker sets. I can't get enough. This is a gold sort of foil type of font here. I think that's what that is. 
beautiful nonetheless. I cannot wait to use it. And then lastly, I picked up some fall themed items, which I've been using and have torn into right away. First up are these pebble rubber shapes with a little, I think that's a little squirrel maybe, some leaves, pumpkin, very adorable. Also picked up some chipboard accents because they were a, there were a lot of these at my Tuesday morning, so I tried to pick up as many as I possibly could. All fall themed there for this set. Love it. Lots of little icons there, the little fox and the acorn and oh, just adorable. Um, another one, this was from the lovely I Love Family Collection by Lori Whitlock. Now, while this is not fall themed, I thought it would be perfect to use for like Thanksgiving and that type of thing. The colors work well with it. So I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the fall um, collection, my holiday collection, because that's typically when I see a lot of family. And lastly, I scored this 12 by 12 sheet of chipboard stickers. This is from Jen Hatfield. The icons are amazing on this. I especially like the little gingham cup and the thermos. It makes me want to go camping so I can have a reason to use those icons, <laughs> but you know, I'm going to slap them on a layout anyway, whether I go camping or not. I say that like I go camping all the time, which I don't, but I love these icons. They're absolutely adorable. And I'm glad that I found this. I would say that this is probably my favorite thing that I picked up recently and I cannot wait to use it. So that was it for my Tuesday morning haul. Stay tuned for more hauls to come. I do plan on stopping by Tuesday morning in the upcoming weeks, especially going into October, because I should be getting a lot more of the holiday stuff in. So if you have a Tuesday morning close to you, make sure you be on the lookout for those fun, fun goodies. Hey friends, before you go, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. When you do, click the bell indicator. That way you'll know each and every time a new video is posted.